In an effort to trim the state budget, the government has decided to go forward with a detailed probe into expenditure to see where spending can be cut and structured more efficiently. The analysis, which is to be completed in three months, is part of a set of measures to bring public debt in line with European Commission directives. Finance Minister Boris Lalovac suggested that spending could be chopped by around 5 billion kuna. Following a search of Mayor Milan Bandic's second home close to Samobor last night, the mayor was returned to the Remetinets prison, where he is being held in one-month investigative custody. Ahead of today's cabinet session, reporters asked Interior Minister Ranko Ostojic whether the arrest on suspicion of corruption was politically motivated. Ostojic answered that the policy behind the arrest was one of zero tolerance of corruption. Meanwhile, Deputy Mayor Sandra Shvaliek told a press conference that the Zagreb city administration and services were functioning normally. Disabled war veterans are continuing their protest outside the Veterans Ministry for a fourth day, calling for the dismissal of Veterans Minister Predrag Matic. The protesters claim he has done nothing to protect their rights. Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic this morning underlined that veterans' benefits had not been touched in the past three years, with the exception of higher pensions, adding that Minister Matic had his full support. The veterans are holding a commemoration this afternoon for 60-year-old Nebenka Topalusic, who passed away during the protest. In Parliament this morning, the Deputy Minister for Regional Development and EU Funds, Yaksha Pulis, presented a report on the utilisation of European Union funds in the second half of last year. Pulis said that almost 560 million euros had been accessed, which is 44% of the over 1 billion euros allocated to Croatia. Zagreb's Technical Museum has opened an exhibition taking visitors back to the soundscapes and pop culture of the Yugoslav era. Under the title Yugoton, East of Paradise, the exhibits include numerous recordings produced by Yugoton, then the biggest record producer in this part of Europe. In sports, in UEFA Europa League football, Rijeka hosts Dutch team Feyenoord at the Cantrida Stadium tonight at 7pm, while Zagreb's Dinamo is in Austria, where they face Salzburg. Kickoff is just after 9pm. At the ATP tournament in Basel, Switzerland, 17-year-old Croatian Borna Cioric today faces Andrei Golubev of Kazakhstan. After celebrating a sensational win against world number 13, Latvia's Ernest Skulbis. In the same tournament, Ivo Karlovic takes on Kenny de Schepper of France. And Croatia's Dario Saric has been named best basketball player outside the NBA league. The rating is based on a poll of NBA club trainers. Saric shares the place with Rudy Fernandez of Real Madrid. He will be transferring from Turkish side Efes to Philadelphia in 2016. The weather this afternoon. Rain will intensify with windy conditions in the interior. Sunny periods in Dalmatia. Winds on the Adriatic are moderate to strong Bura and Tramontana, stormy in places. Temperatures from 5 to 10 degrees Celsius inland, from 11 to 16 degrees on the coast and in inner Istria and Dalmatia. The rainy and windy weather will continue tomorrow with snow possible in mountainous areas. Skies will clear towards the end of the day, but light rain is expected in places on Saturday. Sunny skies on Sunday, but cool, with light frost possible in the morning. Rain on the coast tomorrow, especially in the north, accompanied by strong winds. Mainly sunny on Saturday when winds will ease, cool temperatures in the morning, but warmer in the afternoon.